ready? Yeah. Yeah. Honest to goodness, you know what just happened here? The adults had more energy than the kids. That just happened right here. They're more excited about what's going on. So that makes me excited because I can handle these guys sometimes. Uh, but if you guys were happy, man, these guys were easy. So are you guys ready? A biblical Christian. There's three things you must do to be a biblical Christian. It's found in the book of Acts, chapter 2. And there's three things you've got to do. Anybody know what those three things are? What's the first thing? Yes, baby girl. That's, that's something we do after we're a Christian. Absolutely, that's good. What's the plan of salvation? We must... Okay, so last night, I'm going to re-preach last night's message. Uh, we talked about it last night. You must repent. Okay, next thing you got to do is get baptized. Third thing you got to do is her mom's like, get the Holy Ghost. And so here, uh, we talked about it last night. If last night you received the Holy Ghost for the very first time. The very first time. What I mean by that is while you were praying that the Spirit got a hold of your tongue and you started talking a little bit differently. And that happened for the very first time. I want you to raise your hand. Okay. She's a little nervous about it all. So, uh, did you get the Holy Ghost last night? Yes. Yes. I want you to come up here. I witnessed you get the Holy Ghost. The pastor did. I want you to come up here. This is my second time. Your second time getting the Holy Ghost? Yes. Okay. Well, you know what? You get the Holy Ghost for the second time. You get the sign the sign as well. So I want you to come right up here. And on this big R, I want you to sign your name. I think we ought to cheer for that. That's pretty exciting. Hey, mate, man, man, if you got the Holy Ghost for the second time, I know some of our girls, I was told you got the Holy Ghost for the second time. You pray. See, in children's ministry, you got to keep a whole bunch of different records. You, you, you keep who got the Holy Ghost the first time, and then you keep who got the Holy Ghost the second time. Then you keep Melissa who cried for the first time. I mean, we just include everybody, right? And so uh, th that's good. Who got the Holy Ghost for the second time? Or again? You got the Holy Ghost again last time. You prayed last time. You prayed really good last time. We'll let you sign here in a minute. Well, come down here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I, everybody was telling me. You were telling everybody that would listen to you last night. Yeah, how many of you? You were talking to everybody last night that would listen to you that you got the Holy Ghost again. I want you to go up there. And Sister Libby got the Holy Ghost again. But you know why I want her to sign the sign? Because she was down here helping these girls pray back through to the Holy Ghost. And she was praying with them. And she stayed with them the whole time they prayed. Author working principle 101. Is if someone's praying, you don't leave them until they stop praying. You never leave somebody praying by themselves. And the 12 year old got the lesson last night and prayed with them the whole time. And I think that is a big win as well. Anybody, did you girls get the whole this again? Okay, come up here and sign the sign. Absolutely. That's incredible. Yeah, the sign it big. It's a big letter. It's like this huge R and we got like 10 point font. <laughs> All right. Very good. Emma, she, she got the picture. Did you? We're praying. To, okay. All right. So sometimes we get so focused on what's next that we forget to stop and celebrate the wins of what God did. If you prayed really hard last night, raise your hand. 
You prayed really hard last time. And so everybody in the room, let's just take a moment to celebrate what God did. Okay. Did you pray really hard? Can you come up here and help me? Did you pray really hard? Come up here. No, no, we're not signing. You're just going to help me right now. Okay. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I need... Okay, come on up here. Now, let's see. I'm looking for... Okay, Dave, just right over here. Okay, so what we're going to sing... Yeah, you, you are right up here. What we're going to sing is, I am a Christian. Okay, Olivia, I've seen you mouth in the words. Get up here. Nicholas, cool look, hat, Jordan. You ask me what you can do? Hey, come help me. Uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Here, here it is. I am a Christian. I am a Christian. A mighty, mighty Christian. Christian. We're going to say that 500 times. And then we're going to do something about uh, the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, and um, the helmet of salvation. Okay? And so we're just going to make it up as we go. Uh, uh, She's like making sure everybody had perfect signals and stuff, and that's great. I just go with the flow, all right? So here we go. Everybody up. I need everybody in the room to help me. Everybody's got to help me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Big clap. Big clap.
Romer to come up here and help me. I'm going to need... I need Grumpy and Grumpy here to come help me. <laughs> over a who's grumpy and who's grumpier. That right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wow, that was funny right there. I don't care who you are. Okay, you come over here and help me. Mike, you come over here and help me. All right. Now, here, here's what you can do. You two are two. Your team, your team, your team, your team, your team, your team. Your team. Okay, here. All right. Okay. Sister Grumpy. Sister Grumpier. Okay. All right. And Brother Mike. Okay. And twins. Come up here. Okay. Now, here's what you're going to do. I'm going to uh, let you see the blueprint. I'm going to show you the blueprint. And you have got to follow the blueprint. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay. All right. You see, Mummy, it takes less than a pound of force to tear a sheet of toilet paper. In this challenge, using only their body, the contestant must unwind an entire roll of toilet paper by executing a series of 360 degree spins. If at any time the paper rips, the game is over. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. <laughs> So one person has got to hold the toilet paper. The other person has to spin. I don't know if Pastor can spin that much. You know, I don't know. Um, and so one person's got to hold. The other person's got to spin. Okay, help me out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Now, one, 
two, three. Now here's the thing. I, does anybody love, anybody remember story time? Yeah, like there's a big rug and you sit down and the teacher sits there with a book and, and does story time. Does anybody like story time? Amen. I love story time. So I, I want you to help me out here. What is your favorite story, the, your favorite kid story that you have ever heard? What's your very favorite? Yes. Right, okay, frozen, yes. Ariel, okay. All right. Anybody else got another one? Yeah. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to go back here. Maybe you can give me one. Uh, you know, these are great ones. I'm sure. Yes, sister. Goldilocks, there we go. Cinderella. I'm thinking like three pigs and the, you know, like the three little pigs here, you know. Okay, I don't even, yes, yes. Very good, yes. Okay, all right, on the count of three, here we go, because everybody's ready. On the count of three, I want you to all shout out your favorite book, your favorite story. One, Two, three, go! That's great. Now, I like the three little pigs. But I'm going to tell another story. So, can everybody focus? Everybody focus? Okay. So, we're going to talk about baptism. And one of my favorite sets of books is Wise and wait, Silly. Wait, 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 Brother Moorhead, Brother Moorhead. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to tell you about my favorite story. Well, okay, here, here's the problem. We've kind of already moved to the storybook part. Um, we've kind of moved on. Um, well, well, I was I was busy, and I just, I just wanted to tell you what my favorite story is. Okay, well, first of all, um, I'm a preacher, um, and I don't know who you are. So what's your name? My name is Lily. Well, Lily. You gotta say that real. You, you gotta kind of Lou Lily. I don't know why I can say that. Hooked on phonics didn't work for me. Okay, so here here we go. Uh, do, should we let Lou Lily give her story? Yeah. yeah? Uh, okay. Okay. What's your favorite story? Well, my favorite story is Little Red Riding Hood. That's a pretty good one. Anybody ever heard of yeah. Little Red Riding Hood? All right. Now, Lily, are you busy right now? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell a story. If you're going to hang around, maybe you could help me tell the story. Okay. I think so. All right. Do you think Lily should help me tell this story? Okay. Now, here, here's the thing, Lou. I'm just going to call you Lou. It's going to be easier for me, okay? Okay. Here's the deal, Lou. We're going to do what's called a call and response. So that means when I say something, you're going to say something in response to what I'm saying. What am I going to say? Well, I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Well, what am I going to say? Okay. That's a great question. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say, in... Jesus. And you're going to say. In Jesus' name. In the morning. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to say in, and you're going to say Jesus' name. Oh, in Jesus' name. Okay, I'm going to say in, and you're going to say Jesus' name. Is that right? Okay, okay, Lou, let's try this again, okay? Here we go. We're going to try this, okay? Are you, if not, you're going to get fired. Yeah, I'm, I'll have to get somebody else to do this. I think I can do it. Let's try it. I heard you could do it. I, can, can she do this? Okay, all right. In Jesus' name. In 
Okay, now Lou, you got to be a little bit louder so they can hear you. But you, you, you're getting the hang of it. I, 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 I'm going to keep you around for a little bit, okay? All right, here we go. In Jesus' name. Oh, now that's good. So um, I'm going to read the story. And Lou's going to hang out with us a little bit. And you're going to help me. And all we do and all we say in Jesus' name. That's great. Is how we pray. <laughs> in Jesus' name. We start our day in Jesus' name. Our words we say in just making sure you're ready. Okay. As we get dressed for each new day, in Jesus' name is what we say. In Jesus' name our food we eat. In Jesus' name we eat yummy treats. See, I just add things in there because, oh, well, Paul's right here. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And so you can't do this story with any other name. You can't say in Mickey Mouse. You can't say in Gabba Gabba. You can't say in some son or, or some other thing. There is only one name. Anybody know what that name is? In. I'm still a preacher. I can't help it. I, I get called up in this sermon once in a while. In Jesus' name. We do our best. In playing games or taking a test. In Jesus' name. We worship and praise. Right. Lou's going to take a break. Somebody help me praise for a second. <laughs> Amen. Jesus. When you got a brother or sister. 
Spirit that needs the Holy Ghost, you need to say, You Jesus. need God to do something right now. You say, Yes. There's power in Jesus' name. There's power to preach. Power to teach. Power to see the lame walk. There's power. Somebody say power. I need some kids to say power. To see the mute person talk. It is in Jesus' name. Well, we pray to open blind eyes. Yes. It is in Jesus' name. That we are water baptized. Yes. Somebody praise Him with me right now. Yes. Has anybody ever been baptized in the name of Jesus? Yes. If you've been baptized in Jesus' name, I want you to clap your hands. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. I remember I was driving down the road with my dad. And I, I know, all I know of Sister Sarah about music is I want four flats, three flats, two flats, three flats, four flats. I know you're in trouble. And we were driving down the road about 50, 60 miles an hour. And all of a sudden, boom, we got a flat tire. Boom.
powerful and his name is greater than all. And when we pray in Jesus' he comes and he answers the call. So no matter what we do or no matter what we say, in is how we pray. Now, I want everybody to stand with me. Everybody. And, and Lulu, just hang on real quick. And whatsoever. I want you to say that. And whatsoever. Ye do. Ye do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all. Do all. Real big. Do all. all. Do all. I want you to do that. Do all. Do all. Only on Sunday at church. No. Only when you really need him. No. no. On Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do all. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Colossians 3. 17. I know you're young. I know we got some small ones in the house, but I still, with every fiber in me, believe in the name of Jesus Christ that there is no other name. I, I'm sorry, you may be able to cheat on one side or the other, but you can't cheat on Jesus' name. There is only one Lord. Everybody say one. One, one faith. One faith. You say one, okay? One baptism. One. One God. One. And Father of all. One. Who is above all. One. Through all. One. And in you all. One. That's his name. Jesus. Thank you, Lou. You have everybody say thank you, Lou. Thank you. Everybody to put your serious face on. Everybody put your serious face on. Really serious rose. Everybody got your serious face. Everybody's got our serious face. I need some leaders to come help me. I'm going to pray over these children today. And as I do, I, I want you to come. And if you need Jesus to really touch you, if you need the power of the Holy Ghost, I want you to come. Dear Jesus, I thank you.